Hi, welcome back to our channel. Are you ready to transform your product pages into dynamic showcases that captivate your customers? In this tutorial, we're gonna explore how to use the Shopify product media element in PageFly to boost your store's visual appeal. Product media is an improvement over the product image element. Now, not only a normal image can be uploaded, 3D images and video can be uploaded to help increase the visualization of the product details section. Before using product media in PageFly, you will need to upload and arrange the order of these images and videos in Shopify Admin. Click on the product that you wanna add or change the product media. Click the Add button if you wanna upload the images or videos from your computer. You can also click on the Add from URL button to upload images or videos by adding their publicly accessible URL. For videos, only YouTube and Vimeo embedded URL are supported. After you finish choosing the images or videos to be uploaded, click Add File to upload them to Shopify Files. After finishing uploading images for product in Shopify, it's time to use these images with your PageFly product details element. Go to PageFly Page Editor. Click on the third icon in the left toolbar, which is the Add Shopify Elements button. You can find the product media element here. Drag and drop it in the editor page to start using it. Click in the product media element to start customize it. The general tab is where you find all the customizations to set up your product media. When you drag and drop the product media element into the editor page, there are two choices for the product source option for you to choose from auto. The product that was assigned to this page through page assignment will be displayed in the page editor. Custom product. You can choose custom product and select the product you want. Please note that if you are on the product page and use the product media element, then you can choose the product source option. If you are on a regular page and use this element, the product source option is disabled and the custom product is chosen by default. You can make the product media show full width of its container by selecting yes here. Next, you can choose the main media source from featured media and first variant media. The main media source will be selected for the first media to show after loading page in the live view. Select yes for the show media list to display other images of the product with the main image. Select no if you want to hide them. If you select to show the media list, you can also choose the position of this list. There are four choices, top, right, bottom, and left. A product badge dynamically displays the discounts and limited stock remaining. If you want to show badge on your product media, enable show badge option. There are four positions for you to choose top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. Click on the product badge and you will see the settings parameters. In general tab, you can change the badge text with discount percent and number of stock left or you can add custom content for that badge. You can select to apply the badge with specific products when you enable apply product condition. You can apply this badge for all products or custom collection. Then click select button here to choose the collection to show the badge or choose to show badge contains tags added here. In styling tab, you can change the color of the badge text. Set the size of the badge by adjusting the padding. Set the spacing between the main media corner to the badge by adjusting the margin. Change the typography settings and the color of the badge. Main media is a sub-element of product media. You can access the main media by clicking on the largest product picture in the product media element Go to General tab. You can choose Ratio for the main media element from Original, Square, and Custom. If you choose Custom Ratio, there are Media Height parameter to adjust the height of the media. With Custom Ratio, the Media Object Fit and Media Position option will show up for you to customize. In Media Hover Action, you can choose to none or enable image magnifier or show hover image. 
The media click action allow you to choose the action after clicking on the product media. None, link to product to go to the corresponding product page or show media gallery. You can choose the navigation and pagination to show on the product media here. Along with main media, the media list also is a sub element of product media. You can access the media list by clicking on the section where many product images are displayed in the product media element. In general tab, the media list layout supports you to show the media list as grid or slideshow layout. If you choose grid layout, there are two related options will show up. Items per row, you can set up the number of items displayed in a column here. The maximum number is 12 items. Item spacing, adjust the slider to customize the spacing between each item. The maximum spacing is 100 pixel. If you choose slideshow layout, there are some different options with grid layout or items to scroll. You can adjust the number of items per scroll here. Display partial items. Click on yes if you want to make the previous and next items partially visible. This option adds a navigation arrow icon to the media list. There are five options for navigation type as you can see here. Media list item is a sub element of media list. When you click on the media list item, in the right sidebar, the styling tab will display many parameters to customize the media. There are three styling options, including normal state, mouse over state, active or selected state. You can choose one of four border styles for each state. You can also change the border color to fit your store design or change the border color individually for each border. For each state, Click on the More Settings button to set up the border width and border radius. You can adjust the opacity of the media list items by dragging this bar. Turn on this option if you want to drop the shadow effect on your media. Please note that the changes will be applied to all media list items in the media list. This is the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our channel to get more videos. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is available via live chat 24-7 to assist you with any issues. Thank you for watching.